Yo, what's going on, guys? Sorry for the weird uploads this week. I'm actually graduating from the university. Well, I already graduated. Now I have my like main big commencement tomorrow and from the University of Kansas. But today we're talking about the Phoenix Suns being interested in Terry Rozier and Greg Van Vliet. So let's talk about these two candidates who I'm a fan of both. Hit that like and subscribe button. We're on the way to 20,000 subscribers and your support means the world to me. Your boy is about to go to graduate school for his master's at the University of Miami. So, you know, your support would be much appreciated. The Phoenix Suns have recognized that they have a limited roster in terms of avenues in which they're able to improve it. After using their best assets to acquire superstar Kevin Durant, now that hasn't stopped the Suns from setting a lofty goal of improving its point guard situation with its limited resources. Look at what the Lakers did. They turned Russell Westbrook into a Western Conference Finals appearance. Now, Phoenix is expected to shop veteran point guard Chris Paul and his partially guaranteed contract ahead of next season. And the thing is, is he might be traded, not as a player who might be for a team that's contending, but for a team like San Antonio that might just buy him out. And then he signs like a mid-level exception to a contender who the Lakers are favored. But that's not what this video is about. It's because he has a partially guaranteed contract, which actually makes him a bit easier to trade. Now, two players on the Suns wish list to replace Chris Paul is Fred Van Vliet, who will be an unrestricted free agent this year. Yes, he had a bad shooting split, but he still showed that he can be an efficient player. And I think it was more of the chaos and the situation going on in Toronto that led to Fred Van Vliet having a bad year. Maybe he might not be the same guy that he was four years ago or two, two years ago, but he's still a good all-star level player. And then Terry, Terry Rozier. Well, I personally think Terry Rozier is younger, and I think Terry Rozier may have a bit more dog in him. Honestly, think Terry Rozier is a way better defender than, you know, Fred Van Vliet has ever been. But again, I think this could be a good. Paul's 30.8 million contract is partially guaranteed for only 15.8. And last year we saw in the DeJounte Murray trade when Danilo Gallinari got traded to the Spurs, the Spurs just waived him. And he was like 10 or $15 million. So again, Spurs are a team that were willing to do that. The Suns could also increase the guaranteed portion of Paul's deal if they wanted to put him on a trade to bring in a higher salary player. So they can even trade for a guy who's already making money. Maybe do a sign and trade for like Chris Middleton. I don't know. Probably not. I mean, technically, they could do that with his 15.8 because in a signing trade, the Bucks can only bring back half the amount. The bu but, like, I doubt that would happen. So I want to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. What do you think should be done and why? I definitely think it's an interesting situation, to say the least. But out of Terry Rozier, Terry Rozier Fred VanVleet, and Chris Paul, who do I like the best? I personally like, you know, Terry Rozier. So let me hear your thoughts down below. That's the video, guys. Peace out. Peace out.